Hi guys, welcome to Airdrop Sports. So in today's tutorial, we are going to start the tutorial by manually adding two networks on our MetaMask. So to begin with, I'm going to log into my MetaMask. So you're going to go to the top left of your screen where you normally select network. And then at the bottom, you're going to tap on add network. So at the bottom again, you are going to add, tap on add a network manually. So the very first network that I will be adding is Arbitrum Sepolia. So the RPC setting that I am using to add these two networks, I'm going to leave it both in the comment section and in our Telegram group. I'll leave it on Telegram so that you can be you can be able to easily just do copy and paste of each of the items on the screen. In the comment section on YouTube, you may not be able to, you know, copy it word for word in the comment section. So if you are not on Telegram, do ensure that you join us. So after entering the entire credential, you tap on save. It will ask you if you want to switch network, you can switch or ignore for now. So you go back again to top left of your screen and you're going to choose add network again. And this time we are going to be adding a Bitrum Stylus network. Choose add the network manually. And again, I'm going to be adding the credentials for Arbitrum Stylus Network. You can find that in our Telegram group or in the comment section on YouTube. So make sure that you join our community to have access to all the credentials that you need. So after adding all the relevant data, you are going to tap on save. Okay, so we have been able to manually add Arbitrum Stylus, you can switch your network. So the next thing we want to do is we want to get some testnet tokens, so we'll head to Arbitrum Faucet. I'm going to leave the link to the faucet in the comment section as well as this video's description so you can use any means that is convenient for you. But before going to the faucet, I switched my network to Arbitrum Sepolia because that is what we are going to be getting from faucet, Arbitrum Sepolia testnet tokens. So I'm pasting the link to the faucet here, you can find it in the comment section. So there are two ways to this, you can decide to connect your wallet directly or you can decide to manually enter your wallet address. I entered my wallet address manually and I tapped on give me 0.05 ETH. If you tweet on Twitter and submit the link to your tweet, they will give you 0.01 but that tweeting function for now is not working i tried that earlier so i just claimed 0 0.005 that's enough to do today's um, interactions so the testnet funds have been sent to my wallet and then we are going to visit arbitrum official bridging website and that is bridge.arbitrum.io So here is our Bitrum official website and what we want to do here is we want to bridge, agree to the terms of service and then connect with your MetaMask. So you are going to tap on next and you're going to tap on connect. So remember that we claimed Arbitrum Sepolia from Fawcett, so you're going to make that your sender chain. It is going to be on top, while you're going to make Arbitrum Stylus as your receiver chain and that is going to be at the bottom. So you can see Arbitrum Sepolia at the top here and at the bottom where you see Sepolia, I'm going to change it to Stylus Testing. That is the Arbitrum Stylus and that is what, where we want to bridge to. So you can see Stylus Testnet now. Then you are going to enter the amount of Arbitrum Sepolia that you would like to bridge to Stylus. So I enter 0 0.011. 
I enter 0.011 and then at the bottom of your screen you are going to see the action button here move funds to stylus testnet so you are going to tap on it You're going to confirm in your wallet and for sending from Arbitrum Cipolia to Stylus, Arbitrum Stylus, it took about just two minutes to get it done. So what you're going to do is once the funds have been, have been successfully sent to Arbitrum Stylus, you'll come back to the bridging website and this time you're going to make Arbitrum Stylus your sender chain and you will make Arbitrum Cipolia your receiver chain as you can see on my screen here and again you are going to enter the amount of Arbitrum Stylus that you want to bridge back to Arbitrum Cipolia this time remember I bridged 0.011 so I'm going to bridge in 0.01 this time so that I can have some funds left for gas fees then at the bottom of your screen you would see move funds to Arbitrum Cipolia so tap on that mark the two checkboxes here So this one will take about one hour before the bridging from stylus to Arbitrum Cipolia will be done. So if you are busy with something else, you can always just come back later after one hour. You can set a reminder so that you would know when to come back. By that time, the bridging would have been completed. So I didn't wait for this one to be completed. I moved on to the next step and that is Orbita Finance. I'll also leave the link to Orbita Finance in the comment section. So here I am pasting the link to the Orbita Finance website and pasting it in the search bar. And here is the website. So you are going to connect your wallet. I was trying to connect while on mobile mode and it wasn't connecting. So I had to switch my wallet back, my device back to desktop mode and that is why, when I was able to connect. So you can see that the interface has changed. It was asking me to switch network to Gweli, but we are not doing anything with Gweli at the moment, so I tapped on cancel. Then back at the website homepage, you are going to change your sender chain is currently on Gweli, so you are going to change the sender chain to Arbitrum Cipolia. Since the previous bridging we did is not completed yet, but I still have some funds on Arbitrum Cipolia. So this time I'll be sending first from Arbitrum Cipolia to Stylus so that I'll be able to have some funds to send back from Stylus to Cipolia. So I made Arbitrum Cipolia my sender chain and I made Stylus Testnet my receiver chain. You can see that here. Arbitrum Cipolia on top, Stylus Testnet on the bottom. So you are going to enter the amount of Arbitrum Cipolia you would like to bridge over to Stylus Testnet. So I enter 0.03 and then I tapped on send. So because I am sending from Arbitrum Cipolia, I would have to switch back to Arbitrum Cipolia network and I did that, then tap on confirm and send again. Tap on confirm. So bridging from Arbitrum Cipolia to Stylus on Orbita didn't take any much time at all. Within about two minutes, the bridging process was completed. So you can see the transaction has been completed here. So the next thing is you go back to the home page and this time since it has been deposited in your Stylus network, you're going to make Stylus testnet the sender chain now and you're going to make Arbitrum Cipolia the receiver chain. And you're going to bridge some funds from Stylus back to Arbitrum Cipolia like we did on the Arbitrum official bridge website itself. So I entered the amount of Stylus I want to bridge and I tapped on send. And this time I will have to switch my network back to Stylus being that Stylus is the sender chain. Tap on confirm.
and this uh, last bridging as well didn't take much time at all it was done under two minutes as well so lastly we are going to visit omni base and we are going to claim testnet nft on abitrum stylus testnet so i'm going to also leave the link to omni base in the comment section Here is the Omnibase website and you are going to scroll to the bottom of your screen and you are going to connect Omnibase to your MetaMask. So you are going to tap on connect. Confirm the connection in your wallet. So now my wallet is connected and next I'll tap on mint to mint one testnet NFT. The NFT is valueless, you're not going to do anything with it. We just need it for the interaction. So we're going to tap on confirm. And the NFT has been successfully minted. So like I said in the caption, this project is owned by Arbitrum itself, so I don't need to start going into how important this project is or start going into how much they have raised. I wouldn't want to job with anything that is Arbitrum related. We know how much their previous airdrop was worth. So I hope you all give it a trial. If you have any questions, drop me a comment. If you have found value in any of my content, do subscribe for more. Like this video so that the algorithm can show it to many more people. And I'm going to see you in another tutorial. Thank you for watching.